In today's video, we're going to go ahead and jump back into the audio mixer and we're going to take a look at snapshots and views, how to set them up and well, how we're going to use them. So the first one I'll start off with is snapshots and snapshots, if you're not familiar with them, are just basically preset audio configurations. So you can go ahead, set up the volumes for each one, save it as a snapshot, and then maybe you have a couple of different snapshots set up. And then as certain things happen in game, you can call up those different snapshots. So let's go ahead and set two of them up right off the bat. The first one I am going to call, I don't know, graveyard. And this will be just for overall ambient sounds or while I'm running around in the graveyard. And let's have the other one be a campsite. So when our player goes ahead and hits a certain key and brings up a, a campsite where he can regain energy and everything else, these are the sounds I want to play for that. So I'm going to start off with the campsite. Right off the bat, I don't want the ambient music of the graveyard. I'm going to keep, oops, sorry, that's the sound effects. I want to keep the sound effects. I do want to bring them down to maybe uh, a little bit. You're going to have to tweak around with this. But I'm going to say negative five. Just bring the volume down a little bit while you're in the campsite. Uh, the ambient for the overall graveyard, I want to turn that right off. I'm not going to allow my player to be moving around in the campsite, so it really doesn't matter with this one here. And then for the campsite, as we've seen before, we can affect all the volumes individually. And in this case, it's just the ambient and the wind, but uh, we can also go ahead and do them through the other sliders as well. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep them at full. Zero dB gained or loss. Great, so I've gone ahead and really just slid down the ambient for the graveyard. Now, if I click on the graveyard snapshot, notice how the volumes change. And for this, again, if I just bring all this down, it brings all the rest down. Just for emphasis, we could go ahead and bring them all down. And as we switch between them, and remember, you can call this through code, which we will be doing later. You can have all your audio levels set and you'll never have to worry about it. So let's go ahead, we'll have a quick demo of this. We'll go ahead, hit play. I'll have to make sure we can edit in place. And we can't hear any of that campsite stuff. But, but we can hear the ambient, we hear the critters, and we can hear the player. Let's go ahead. Uh, we don't actually have to be near the campsite to hear this, but let's switch snapshots. There we go. Now you may want to actually fade in between certain ones. That's fine. We actually got it. So let's go ahead and take a look at views. So views are an editor only thing. And as we start getting more and more of these audio mixtures up here, it can get really messy. So views allows you to go ahead and organize it into different layouts, quite similar to the layout button in Unity itself. So I'm gonna add two for now. We have the default view, which I'm gonna leave as everything. I'm just gonna switch this over to, I don't know, let's call it global. And that's another thing with snapshots. I probably should have left the original, which had all of them in it, but that's fine. But I'll add two more here. And the first one I'm just going to call Graveyard. And the second one I'm going to go make one for the campsite as well. And I'll start with the campsite one. So I know I don't, well, if we go ahead and look at these, I know I don't want anything on the ambient. I don't want to hear anything about that. So I can come into this list here with all these little eyeballs. If you turn one of these off, it disappears. I'll go ahead and turn off the ambient and we just see the campsite stuff or the stuff that plays during the campsite. And likewise, when I go to the graveyard, back over here, I can take a look at the ones that are at zero. Now, this isn't necessarily just turn the ones that you have down to zero, just turn off the ones you don't want to look at. In this case, I don't care about campsite, background, the ambient coming from the campsite or the wind. It just allows you to clean that up. And since it was such a short video, let's cover one more thing. These little buttons down at the bottom here, the SMB. If you hover over them, you'll see uh, some pop-ups. So it's solo, mute, and bypass. I'm gonna go back into the campsite one. I'm gonna start it up. And let's actually go into the campsite sounds and let's say I didn't want to hear the wind anymore let's say I only wanted to focus on the critter background sounds I could click solo and that means that this is the only channel I'm listening to right now 
and I can add other solo channels to it. So maybe I want the ambient. Let's do the wind in there as well. And it's kind of like reverse mute. Everything becomes muted except for the ones that are lit up for solo. Now, if you ever want to get that back, you have to go ahead and uncheck them. And mute. Well, you should know what mute does, right? You click it, you just don't hear that channel. And of course, we are getting some warnings down here. Same thing for soloing. And for bypass, we haven't looked at filters yet, but we are going to, uh, in a, pretty soon. A, a, we can go ahead and do that in the next video. Well, let's just go ahead and do like a pitch shifter. And let's say we did want to hear this. We see it over here and we don't want it anymore. We can actually go ahead and click B which just bypasses all the effects. You notice it grayed out a bit. And there we go. Well, we'll stop this. I do want to get rid of this. I don't want it on there anymore. But there we go. We can now organize it and set up sounds for both different types of events that are going to happen in our game. And in the next video, let's go ahead. We'll start taking a look at some of these filters. Until then, bye-bye.